Well, good evening, everybody. David here at Scale Models Midwest in Altoona, Iowa. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight's just a quick little update video. I'll have another video out tomorrow and probably even Monday because it's July 4th weekend. And the only thing that I've got on my mind is relaxing, chores, and grilling. So I hope you're doing the same. Hope you're having a fun time this weekend. Be safe, whatever you're doing, especially around the fireworks. Wanted to show you what's been given to me as a challenge by two of my martial arts students. Um, in my spare time, I believe I've mentioned this before in some videos, I am a martial arts instructor locally, and I've been doing so for about 24 years. I have a couple, in fact, more than a couple people who have said that they watch my videos and they really like them. Two kids in particular, Henry and Edward, wanted to build a model and wanted to see if I could help. And I said, sure. What do you want to build? And they're like, we don't know. What would be a good kit? And I said, whatever you like. Buy that kit and then show it to me and I'll kind of give you a grocery list on what you want to get for supplies and we'll build the kit. So unbeknownst to them, probably now they'll know it because they're going to see the video. Hi, Henry. Hi, Edward. Is I wanted to buy the same kit that they bought. No matter what it was, I was going to try and buy the same kit. And then I'm going to build the kit as though... I am doing it for the first time. So what you see here is the kit that they chose. Now, a couple things to get across first of all. You want to kind of, on your first kit, go easy. You don't want to get discouraged from building a kit if it's too complex, uh, too many parts, um, a lot of steps. You want to kind of ease into it. Because if you go whole hog and like say in building a Peterbilt 359, Knowing that those things usually have 250 parts plus, pretty soon you're going to be discouraged because you're like, it's either taking too long, there's a lot of fiddly parts, you have to line things up, and then you're just going to put the kit away and not touch it. So, always good to start small. Start with like snap tight kits. Work your way up. My very first kits that I ever had, I was think about six or seven years of age, my dad got me two little Lindbergh 164 scale kits. One was of a truck with a camper on it. The other one was of a steak truck. And they had like these little uh, metal weights that you put into the chassis and just kind of screwed them together. Um, the next kit I had beyond that, the actual first real kit I had was from my Pop Pop. He came down to visit and helped me build a Wright Brothers plane. It was a very daunting task because again, fiddly parts. You had to put uh, fabric on the wings had to kind of learn how to do that. Some of the stuff was plastic, but other parts you had to make your own. And the string. You had to use sewing thread for all the riggers, and he helped me through it. Um, I didn't build another plane for a while, but when I did, I built like an F-16, an F-14 Tomcat, um, I think an F-4 Phantom from the Thunderbirds, and then I stopped building them. I didn't build planes. I like cars. I like trucks. So this is the first kit I built of a plane in over 30 years 35 years so they showed me this kit yesterday and i took a look at it and said wow this is a nice kit and then i started looking at it this is the revel top gun maverick mavericks fa18e super hornet obviously it's a pretty apropos subject because of the movie that's in the theaters now in fact hopefully tomorrow if i can convince my wife and daughter we're going to go see the movie because yes, I liked the Top Gun movie when it first came out, and I've, I've heard this one's good too. So I kind of like what, what they were going with. But then I started looking at it. It's a level five kit, so this kit's definitely not going to be recommended for beginners. This is their first kit. It has 161 parts, 148th scale, so as some of these parts are gonna see, they're very small, very fiddly. And then when it's done, it's gonna be 15 inches long by 11 inches wide. You can build it wheels up or wheels down. But again, it's not necessarily a kit that a beginner would want to do. However, a beginner can do this kit. And I'm going to approach this kit as though I have not built a kit before. I will take a few liberties with some detail here and there, but not a lot. I'm just going to use basic model tools. Uh, I got a couple of cans of Tamiya grays that I'll be using. Uh, some bottle paints, also flats, and I will build it how I would recommend a first-timer build the kit. <clears throat> this kit does not come with decals for 
the top of the fuselage in black or blue. So I may take a little bit of liberty there with masking and painting that area. But otherwise, uh, it's a fairly straightforward build, I think, with just your grays and your, your touch-up paints. However, it does have a lot of small, fiddly parts. We're going to get to this in a moment, and this is something I will be approaching with my two fellow Taekwondo students as we proceed to build the kit together. For starters, as you see it's laid out right here, the parts have dried. I actually prepped them by washing them in warm soapy water to get rid of any possible uh, mold release agent. Molds you should be sprayed with a mold release agent and then read your instruction booklet and make sure that you see the progression of steps as a way to building the kit. You can kind of skip ahead a couple steps if you want to build sub-assemblies like you know, say for example, the missiles or drop tanks, but you want to make sure that you're following uh, a good progression and you're not missing a step that's necessary. Like say for example, you don't want to put the fuselage together without putting the cockpit in on at least the one side. So let's dig into this kit real quick. Again, 161 parts. For starters, you've got drop tanks, missiles, pretty cool, and their mounts that go underneath the wing very cleanly molded. <clears throat> Revell definitely does a good job on their jet kits that I've seen. More drop tanks, more mounts for under the wing. The tires come molded in plastic and you can brush paint those or you can spray paint them. Uh, again, I'm going to approach this as though I were doing this for the first time. Thank you very much. Again, be safe this holiday weekend. We'll catch you in the next video.